Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take those locomotor movements that we reviewed last week and that we have learned for the past couple of years, and we are going to use those to move in different pathways, different directions, and at different levels. For today, we're going to be putting our body in motion. So I want you to make sure that you have some space around you right now where you can see the screen and move. You're not going to need too much space, you know, just a little bit. If you can twirl your arms, maybe move side to side just a little bit, that's probably all you're going to need. But we're going to put our bodies in motion. And when we are in motion, we're an object. We're the object in motion caused by a push or a pull. Now, what's moving us? What's forcing me in motion? What do you guys think? That's right. It's my legs are the force behind my motion. The force in my legs puts my body in motion. That's pretty cool, right? How my body is in motion because of my legs and the force behind them. Pretty cool how what you're learning in science is also relatable to our bodies and how we move and how we perform those basic locomotor movements that we are learning. And today, we're going to take that a step further by moving in different pathways, different directions, and at different levels. And while we're doing that, we're going to see what kind of sounds our bodies are making while we're doing that. So, let's get ready to move and follow along with me. First thing we're going to talk about are pathways. There are three pathways that you can move in. A straight pathway, a curvy pathway, and a zigzag pathway. So, let's move. Let's first move in a straight pathway. And if that looks familiar, all it is is a straight line. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, the quickest way from one place to another place is moving in that straight pathway, in that straight line. So let's start by walking in a straight line. We're going to walk back and forth. Walk with me. I, I'm walking.
The three levels that we're going to move at are a low level, a medium level, and a high level. Let's move. All right, now we're going to move in different levels, still using those locomotor skills that we have learned, okay? We can even throw in some pathways to review previous stuff that we learned. All right, you guys ready? The first level we're going to move in is a low level. Low level, we get down low, okay? So, let's move. We're going to take this one in a straight line. Right, I'm low, then I'm going to walk in a straight line. At a low level. You guys, make sure you're moving with me, okay? All right, the next thing I'm going to do at a low level is I'm going to jump. See if this looks like any animal you know. You guessed it, I was jumping like a frog. Remember when you're jumping with me that you jump off of two feet and you land on two feet. All right, for the next level, we're gonna move at a medium level. And if you looked at the picture, medium level's pretty much normal, okay? So, let's gallop. We're gonna gallop around in a curvy pathway at a medium level. There are many directions that we can move in, as you can see by the picture on the screen. And if you want to keep on looking at those, you can pause the screen so you can look at them all. Today, however, we are going to focus on moving in a backwards direction and in a forwards direction. All right, the next thing we're going 
go over our directions that we move, and we're really just going to focus on a couple, okay? So make sure you're moving with me. First thing we're going to do is we're going to walk forward. When I walk forward, I look straight ahead. Walking forward. Let's jog forward. Now, the opposite of forward is the direction of backward. Let's start by walking backwards. Turn around, go walking backwards. All right, let's try to skip backwards. That one's gonna be tricky. Skip backwards. Same movements of skipping when you skip backwards. Make sure you're following along with me, guys. Skipping backwards in a curvy pathway. Jog backwards. I hope you guys are just as tired as I am after following along with these activities. Now, what I want you to do so I can see what you have learned, I want you to go back to the slide where the warm-up activity was. Um, you may still be on it if you're watching the video on the slide, but if you made the video bigger to watch it on YouTube, then um, you'll have to go back to the slide. But I want you to click the last thing where you do it, where you show me in a Flipgrid video how to move in these different pathways, levels, and directions by using those locomotor skills. Can't wait to see your videos, guys. Good job.